Hi Wonder VAs, I am Blessy. I'm one of the virtual assistants focusing on social media management and marketing here at Vame Philippines. Today, we're going to talk about a topic upon the most requested comments on our previous video here on our YouTube channel. And this topic is crucial for anyone that is starting out their career as a virtual assistant. So it is about how to create your portfolio without experience. So whether you're a recent graduate or switching out careers, having a portfolio can make all the difference. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, let us first define what exactly is a portfolio is. So a portfolio is like a professional showcase of yourself. So it demonstrates your skills, your previous projects, your achievements to your potential employers or clients. So we have different types of portfolio and your portfolio can come in various different forms depending on your field. Whether you're an artist, you're a writer, designer, or developer, having a professional portfolio is essential to showcase what you can do. So how do we create a portfolio without any experience? First, when you're starting, you must choose a focus. Focus on your service that you wanted to provide to your clients. So this may be a skill of set, a niche that you're interested in, or even a particular industry that you're targeting. So Wonder VAs, always make sure that your focus aligns with your career aspirations or passions. So this will not only make your portfolio cohesive, but it can also show that your genuine interest in the field that you're interested in. So it may be a content writer, um, web developer, video editor, or social media manager, virtual assistant. Okay, so now I am sharing my screen with you all for you to see this step-by-step -step guide that we will do as a virtual assistant creating a portfolio without experience so all you have to do is visit their website which is canva.com and uh, take note this is not sponsored and it is a free tool that we can use as a virtual assistant or as a social media manager so we can do a lot of things in this in this website so as you can see you can see um what what can we design? What are the templates that we can use? So we have here documents, presentations, video, social media, um, postings, resume, and uh, name it. They have it. So, so what's the first thing that we have to do in creating a portfolio without any experience? So as I've mentioned a while ago, focus on your service that you wanted to provide because uh, we will tackle about that later on creating your portfolio so now um, on the search bar of canva all you have to do is type portfolio okay so we, we have here creative portfolio a4 portfolio student portfolio so i want you to click the online portfolio so once you've clicked this um, you will see lots of templates that you can use for free and uh, these portfolios are really for free that you can use for your creation of portfolio so we have here as you can see 429 templates so we have a different type so we have a creative portfolio graphic designer portfolio digital marketing marketing portfolio so there's a lot of of portfolios templates that you can use in creating your own portfolio so there you go so in my case let's uh, let's serve myself as the uh, social media manager that doesn't have any experience at all and I will create a portfolio for myself so if you have a laptop um, or a phone you can also use a phone in creating your portfolio uh, go to Canva. We will create it together at the same time. So, oh, in my case, I wanted to create a blank online portfolio. So, I'll click on the blank portfolio. So, as you can see, you have your un untitled design. So, let's name it after our name. So, Blessy Portfolio. So, of course, it's really overwhelming if you don't have anything in your mind. On creating a portfolio so we will 
move forward to the templates that we have here so in checking templates uh, you may base it on your passion on your personality as a virtual assistant or if you want uh, you may check their design so let's check some here so let's try to see so look at this template it's so beautiful so it's Samira an illustrator graphic designer so we can try this template but um, let's try it in a different way because in my case I'm a type of person that really wants minimalistic styles or uh, you know clean or basics like that so my passion is more of like this so let's click on this type of portfolio so we have a lot of kind of this type of portfolio but in this case i wanted to try it this to try this orange and white simple minimalist photography portfolio online again this is free template from canva so so here you'll see it's a portfolio by miss claudia alves so i guess um she's from canva offering free templates for people like us so in this template um, if you will browse, you will see, oh, that's how she do it. That's how she designed her portfolio. So we can try to tweak it and customize it according to our personality and according to our personal experiences. So as I've said a while ago, I'm a social media manager without experience. So I want it to be black and white. So we will change all the colors into black and white so that's how you do it all you have to do is um, play with the fonts so this font you can change it for if you're a um, person like um, you want it in a cursive form or you know creative handwriting you can do it but in my case I want it to look more aesthetic <laughs> so there you go we have different types of aesthetic aesthetic in ourselves so it's in the eye of the beholder <laughs> so moving forward um we will change this into our name so my name is blessy clarine and uh, the portfolio that i wanted to create is a social media manager portfolio but for uh, for it to look um general we'll, we can create it like professional portfolio um, in creating a portfolio you can create your own logo your own name for your um, for you to call yourself so in my case I call myself as BC stands for Blessed Clarine social media works but this is not this is not necessary I mean this is not required to all to all your portfolios it's just that an idea that I wanted to create on my own portfolio. So in my case, I want to call myself PC Social Media Works so that I have I can create a professional page for my services that I offer and at the same time for my for the name of my portfolio. So that's what I call my name or that's what I call my services. It's BC Social Media Works. So moving forward, so as you can see, uh, Claudia included um, like a hello. So in my part, I don't want this type of... So I wanted to move forward to the about me. So for my introduction to myself. So you can add your photo here. Or you can add anything that you wanted that portray yourself. So in my case, I want to add my photo. So I already have it here. So if you want to add your photo, just upload files. Then just click on a photo that you like or that, that you wanted to upload. So in my case, I already have it here. Then I'll just drag, you know, you just click and drag it. Or if you want, just delete this, uh, delete the image and then add it. So if that's what you want, or you can just click it and then re realign it, you know, like that. So Canva is really user friendly. So you will not be confused or you, you canva is really really user friendly and you re you will really understand how will it works so again my branding is black and white <laughs> so i'm changing it to white same with the font 
color and the background will be black so look look at the uniformity right so in creating a portfolio you must have this type of mindset wherein you will create a uniformity like the colors must be the same the fonts must be the same on the next page so for the portfolio we will change it again to professional don't worry guys this would not take an hour i'll just i'll just show you how we do a portfolio without experience so i changed the introduction to about me and then you will also change the description below that because it's from Claudia, so you will change it. Hi, I'm Blessy. Wait, I'm Blessy Clarin. Blessy Clarin. Period. So, in this part, you can tell what you like, what are you interested in what what do you aspire to be so so i'm blessed clarine i'm an aspiring virtual assistant and social media manager or marketer i love social media <laughs> designing and photography as well so you may add more and more but uh, make it as short as possible for the client to not get bored while scrolling on your portfolio so there you go we already have our introduction for ourselves so make feel free to you know make fun enjoy the free fonts that we have so here we have so many fonts that we can use so depending on your on your personality so in my personality i wanted to look again <laughs> i wanted to look really um, just basic so moving forward as you can see we have here um, the interest education language so uh, number one tip if this is already on your resume just remove it because it will look redundant so remove the parts that is not relevant for the portfolio because the portfolio is the showcase of your professional background so interest let's change it to skills that you offer so again let's change the colors yeah there you go okay so now how do you showcase your skills when you don't have much perf professional experience so the key is to include your personal projects freelance work or volunteer experience so here i want to show you my professional portfolio that i already showed in our previous video so it is the busy social media works so i i did it using my phone guys not through my laptop because when i was just starting out when I was just starting out as a virtual assistant, I do not have any I don't have any laptop to use. So I'm just utilizing my phone, um, doing Canva works using my phone. So here, uh, here's the sample of my professional portfolio wherein I have my introduction just like what we did. So you can also try this template. So I'll be linking the template below for you to try so here so we have a question a while ago that on how do we showcase our skills when we do not have enough professional experience so number one tip that i can uh, tell you while the while my screen is still um, loading so one tip that i will share to you is um, doing a pro bono deal so i already discussed this um in our previous video we're in uh, the tips on virtual assistant without experience so what is a pro bono deal so i i wanted to emphasize what is a pro bono deal so let me just type it here 
So, pro bono deal. If you do not have um, enough experiences as a professional or professional experiences and you're just starting out your career as a virtual assistant, I highly recommend to try this type of setup to your clients or to your friends, families. Because again, when I was just starting out, um, the showcase of my creative work here, um, my designs, my works, my copyright, the videos that I did is all for free. Why did I do that? Because um, creating free services to your um, friends, to your colleagues, or someone you know that have a business will help you to practice your skills. So just like this, I'm really into food. <laughs> I really love food. And I really love editing um, food-related designs. So... I talked to someone that is offering this type of product so I offered a free service of graphic designing and photography so after I created their product um, graphic designs I sent it to them and then I asked for a feedback so in exchange of creating in exchange of your services will have a feedback for your portfolio and at the same time these creative works may also be part of your portfolio as well so if you don't have any professional experience yet if you don't have any professional experience yet so this is a great way to have you know a win-win solution wherein you practice your skills as a graphic designer as a photographer you practice your skills as a copywriter so um, in exchange of that is the works that you already created and the feedbacks that you will get from your clients because even if it's not paid work these projects demonstrates your abilities and passion for what you do plus they show that you are proactive and you are willing to learn so I just talked to someone so this one I talked to my brother that has a business and to our family so i created a free work so this is my hand this is a photography of mine and i also created a video so i just get the product go to the physical store and took videos just like how we do it on our personal uh, social media accounts so we can do it also on the businesses that we wanted to cater so going back having a pro bono deal is one of my um holy grail in creating my portfolio because i will not have any works here to put on if i didn't create that free services to other people so um just a backstory while i was creating free story i free services to other people after the after i created this first part of my portfolio i already received a job offer from an international client that wanted my that wanted my service so this one is from Canada she messaged me that she saw the portfolio she saw what I do in other organization that is not on this um, portfolio so um, the clients will like your work if you really put an effort to it so all right so here's the full um, portfolio that I have so if you want the template of this uh, stay until the end of the video and I will send it right away so there you go here's the some um, here are some of the videos I created for Vame Philippines also there you go it's also here <laughs> and more and more of works so going back um, if you already if you already have a skill that you created through pro bono deals or free services that you have so let us now move forward to the last part of the to the last part of your portfolio so you may say thank you at the end so in my part i don't i do not add this part i'll just add the contact me part again let's make it our brand our brand is black and white so depending on your favorite colors or you know favorite style or designs that you wanted to add on so in my case yeah i wanted it 
to be like this again simple and aesthetic and minimalist but depending on you depending on your style your passion you know depending on you so again let's change this I forgot to change it to professional so there you go just just change it to your number change it to your account social media accounts you may add it here and you may place you may try to explore some of the things that we have here on canva we have the elements so if you wanted to add like a um, facebook icon so you may put it here so that your account can be can also be flexed here so just put in your facebook and then put in your name of your facebook or if you have instagram so there's a lot of things that we can try here on the canva account so it's really amazing that we have it for free so guys take advantage of this um tool that we can use for future references so there you go guys and for the last part as you can see this portfolio that i have um, we can uh, change it into a website publish publish website so all you have to do is um, share click the share button and then you may do it like a public view link but in my case i wanted to look like really professional like um live website so for that all you have to do is click more click website and um, convert it to website so there you go you will see what will it look what would it look like in a website or in a phone so let's check it out so just um click the arrow or the full screen button you will see that oh this would this is the output of my work we're in in the desktop this is how it looked like when you send it to your client there you go so about you the skills that you have so i'm sorry i didn't add anything here because um again uh, we will create more through pro bono deals so there you go you can add there the management marketing copywriting anything that you have so i'm sure you you have skills i believe in you i believe that you have skills that you can offer so as long as you are using a social media you already have a skill so you can add it that here in the showcase of your work and there you go the contact me part we're in where they they would contact you and through phone this is how it looked like see it's really amazing how um, canva can do this for us uh, and then uh, you will see that the website url or the domain that you will use is it's here so you may change it like you want it to be different so bless your portfolio bc social media works so in my case it's like this bc social media works my canva site bc social media works so that's how i i do it and create it so it depends on you you may change it or you may not but i suggest you change it for it to look personalized and customized so once you've decided to your website domain to the design of your work just click publish website and you will already have this kind of of portfolio there you go so that's it when it comes to building your portfolio always remember that presentation is everything so you want it to be visually appealing and at the same time it must be easy to navigate for your clients so while we're using canva in this video as our guide in creating our portfolio you may also consider online platforms like Behance, Dribble, or GitHub, depending on your field. So always remember that you must keep it concise, keep it clear, accurate, and also consistent. So guys, don't be afraid to seek feedback for the improvement of your portfolio. So share it to your friends, share it to your mentors, your um, professional leaders on the industry that you're into and use their inputs to iterate and improve your portfolio so always remember that our portfolios 
are never finished. So you should evolve as you gain more experiences in the future. Art portfolios do not stop there. So it always improves, it always evolves, and it always expands as we gain more knowledge and experiences in this field. And that's it! Creating a portfolio may seem daunting or intimidating, but I assure you, Wonder VAs, it is doable and you can really do it. So start now, start small, and focus on your strength and keep refining your portfolio. So thanks for watching, Wonder VAs. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more resources and tips as a virtual assistant. Thanks for watching Wonder VAs and always remember, you've got this!